Today we're doing tuna apple salad sandwiches and it's really good and fairly fast and it's kind of almost a combination of Waldorf salad meets tuna salad so uh, we'll go from there. First of all I'm starting with a 12 ounce can of tuna. Now whether you get it packed in oil or packed in water you're going to want to open it and let it drain. The traditional way that most people drain it is to open the can and press their thumbs against it and let the liquid drain out. This actually will preserve the flakes of the fish much better. You can see that some of it is, is already kind of mashed, but you still get more flakes this way than you do the other way. So letting it drain gently is going to be a little bit better option for you. You could use two small cans. Uh, it's not going to be quite as much fish, but it'll be close enough. Now, also for that, you need an apple. Now, I'm going to start with one that's got a red peel, and I'm leaving the peel on it because I want the color there. If you want to do a Granny Smith, whatever kind of apple you have, go ahead and, and just chop it up uh, fairly coarsely, leave the peel on it so it looks pretty, uh, and you're ready to go. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of some kind of plain yogurt. It can be low-fat yogurt, it could be uh, Greek yogurt, whichever kind is plain that you can get a hold of is going to work. I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of a low-fat or a fat-free mayonnaise. Now I'm giving you a range on this one because it depends on how creamy you like your salad. If I tend to like mine with a little more dressing to it, so I'm adding a little bit more. But if you don't mind it dry, or if you've not tried it yet, try it with a lower amount and work your way up. Uh, one half cup of chopped fruit. I'm using cranberries, dried cranberries, again, because I like the color. If you didn't want to use dried fruit, if you had red grapes or green grapes, they would work equally well. I would cut them in half or maybe even slice them depending. Some of the grapes that I see out there these days are pretty darn big. So it could be any kind of dried fruit or uh, a grape would work too. Also, a fourth of a cup of unsalted nuts. Now, I'm using walnuts. You could use pecans. You could use peanuts if you don't have anybody with an allergy. You could uh, even go further afield than that with cashews uh, and just experiment. Also, I've got about two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley. Could be curly, could be uh, a flat leaf parsley, and a little bit, about an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And then I'm going to give it a pinch of salt because we didn't add any salt with the nuts and we've got a little bit of salt coming from other things. Uh, but I think a little bit of salt enhances the flavor of some of the other things that are there. Now, we want to mix the dressing into the ingredients that we have here. And if you're familiar with a Waldorf salad, if we sub in the grapes and put in some celery, we'd pretty much have uh, a Waldorf salad going on. Uh, but we want to coat everything here. Part of the reason for that is we want to make sure that the apples get well coated because they're going to be sitting around possibly for a little bit of time. And having them coated uh, with the dressing will help them uh, keep them from going dark. All right, our tuna is going to go in now. And at this point, we're going to blend it in, but you want to do this stirring fairly gently because we want to keep the tuna intact as much as we can. Now the tuna could have been oil packed, it could be water packed. It, the choice on that, uh, the uh, calorie content is going to be a little bit higher when it's drained uh, if you use an oil packed tuna, uh, but uh, it's pretty much personal preference when it comes, uh, push comes to shove on this one. Let me get that piece out of the way there. And this is actually pretty much done. Now the question of, of in the media lately has been whether or not tuna is a safe food to eat. Uh, one consumer magazine has uh, recommended that uh, because of the mercury content of the tuna that pregnant women, women who may want to become pregnant, uh, women who are nursing, small children should all avoid tuna across the board. Uh, you, uh, FDA and EPA still continue uh, with their claim uh, and recommendation uh, because of the high nutritional value of tuna in the diet that canned light tuna is safe for up to 12 ounces uh, uh, per week. And so that's the one I'm going with, uh, partly because I trust them and partly because I like tuna. And while I'm not in any of those risk groups, I serve people who are. So I'm going to continue with that recommendation. I'm uh, going to put a couple of lettuce leaves on this. What type of lettuce is going to depend pretty much on what type you have. I've got a bib lettuce here that's always pretty, uh, so we'll put that on. A couple of leaves there, and I had a knife here somewhere. Now, my recommendation on slicing sandwiches is across the diagonal. They actually have done research on this and have found that it makes it look like you're getting more if your sandwich is cut out on a diagonal as opposed to if it's cut uh, up and down. So 
Anything that helps us eat less is good in my book. I hope you'll try this one. It's tuna salad sandwiches for Oklahoma Gardening. I'm Barbara Brown.